That was only a very short train ride from New Malden, where Gobble Guzzle Jr. has been living for the last year or so. The rental in central London itself is madness, so it's not surprising that many people who work in the city, they actually live in Greater London, the home counties or surrounds, and just commute to work. Hey you and welcome to my YouTube channel and yes, we are continuing with our journey in search of food markets in London. Food markets or food halls, whatever you choose to call them, are actually a very good source of reasonably cheap hot food and that's good if you're on a budget and in a hurry. The other big plus point is that food halls and food markets normally attract stallholders from a diverse background, so you get to taste food from different ethnic communities. I'm afraid this vlog is going to be a very short one because we arrived quite late and a lot of the food stalls here are already closed. We are in the southwest of London in an area which is known as Kingston upon Thames. This part of London is Gobble Guzzle Jr.'s stomping ground because he just lives a few train stops from here. And this is where he comes to indulge in Vietnamese street food. And he says he just can't wait to show me the exact stall. Our targeted stall in Kingston Market is just right in front of this building and it has a very cute name. It's called For Real. The setup, well, even though it's in London, it's actually very, very authentic, I would say. It's all strictly self-service. You order your food, pay for it at the front of the stall and collect it. And then just go to the corner, the side of the stall, and you may find some tables and chairs there. This is my first Asian meal since arriving in London this year. And I'm so excited. I just can't wait to dive in. We both love Vietnamese food and look at this bowl of beef pho. They are so generous with the herb garnishing on top of it. You get a big handful of mint and basil and cilantro or coriander leaves. Not forgetting the crunchy bean sprouts or what we Malaysians call tau ge. The fur here is served with a touch of chili oil so as to give you a little kick in the gut. But it doesn't totally camouflage the taste of the lemongrass and the beefy goodness in the broth. Well, if you're an early riser and you get to come here earlier on in the day, You'll find many traditional stall holders selling fresh produce, things like seasonal fruits and vegetables. If you haven't ventured to this part of London before, well, the Royal Borough of Kingston-upon-Thames was an ancient market town and it was the site of the coronation of seven Saxon kings and also home to the oldest bridge in London. Amongst the many famous celebrities who had their roots here in Kingston, lived here at one point in time or another, you have Tom Holland, Mr. Spider-Man himself, and also Julian Clary, TV presenter and comedian, and Eric Clapton, not forgetting Jacqueline Wilson, the very popular children book writer. In the midst of this market town, I discovered this 12th century church, which is called the All Saints Church. It's such an oasis of peace in the midst of the hustle and bustle of Kingston. We walked into the ancient market house. Here we are. It's kind of a pop-up 
uh, I would call it a pop-up stall of some kind. This whole space here in the ancient market house provides a platform for the art students of the nearby Kingston University to showcase their creative efforts. And yes, the things that you see here, they are available for sale. Time to wrap up our very quick walk through the Kingston Market on this beautiful day. And do join us again when we go in search of another food market or food hall here in London. I'm Gobble Guzzle and with a newfound friend here, time for me to say goodbye and always be kind, spread the message of peace. Jumpa lagi, bye-bye.